Hey guys, welcome back, Woodworking here. Back with another gameplay breakdown. Uh, this is once again a game where I am not roaming. I am actually playing this game, I'm Glaive, but we're not going to be focusing on what I'm doing for most of the game. We're going to focus on Catherine. The person playing Catherine is a tier 6 credible threat level roamer. Um, and I just told them that I wasn't going to give them any advice. I just wanted them to play how they would normally play. Catherine decides to stun Lance here, which was the wrong decision. Glaive's clearly trying to focus down Blackfeather, so she showed up as well. Catherine is really weak early game, uh, really until minimum 10 minutes into the game. So much so that if you're playing against a Catherine and you're gonna fight the very first jungle shop rotation, you should target Catherine because she will go down super quick. Let's talk about builds really quick. Uh, Catherine decided to buy Oakheart and Light Shield, which is great. That works into Fountain. That's what I always suggest. However, between the first shop and this shop, she has purchased five mines already and zero flares. Uh, that is too many mines early game to be buying. Yeah, I do always tell you guys to buy more vision, but that's just too much. And not having flares to mix in with your mines is also a mistake. Catherine's heroic perk gives her one shield and one armor for every stack she earns by stunning or silencing an enemy hero. So if I was this Catherine, I would have gone to lane here, not gone through this jungle rotation with Glaive. However, since she did decide to stay with him, she should be tanking the minions for him and helping him farm. She did almost no auto attacking with Glaive there, and now she's spending way too long at the shop. Not a very good place to drop the mine there. As I showed you in the other Arden video, I like to put them down around the corner of that shop bush. Because she has no flares, she has to go face checking into the enemy lane bush here and decides not to use her stun to help her team gank Gwen. And then after they don't have a chance of killing Gwen, then she uses her stun. The reason I go to lane as Catherine rather than do jungle rotations is you always have an enemy hero right there in the lane and it's much easier to build stacks when there's an enemy hero there. The amount of times you're gonna fight in the jungle isn't enough to build enough stacks throughout the game. And just in general, you wanna shoot for two stacks per minute. If you can do that, you're doing great as Catherine, building your heroic perk and making you into a really tanky roam. She just placed another mine where a minute ago I said was a bad place. And the reason it's a bad place is because they always get popped there. If the enemy walks through your shot bush, that mine is gonna get popped. Once again, she has no flares in her kit, so she has to face check this shot bush, which was kind of a bad decision anyway, even if he did have flares. Like I said, she's really weak early game and they haven't won the engages so far. And you can see where it leads gets her and her teammates killed. Once she knew she was gonna die, she should have just turned around and let her teammates get out, not continued walking towards her teammates so the enemy team could get there. She sees Blackfeather taking a tree ant here and she should have tried to take this minion out from under him rather than trying to kill him because once he gets that health and energy regen, she's not gonna be able to kill him anyway and she would have denied him farm. Kind of a big mistake there. The other thing she's doing by not going to lane here is denying herself a lot of ambient gold. And this Catherine player does that throughout the game. She does a lot of wandering around in the jungle, not staying with her carries to get farm. And throughout the course of this game, I'm sure it easily cost this player 1,200 or more gold. That last time she shopped as well, she left the shop with six mines and zero flares. Um, I don't know if she doesn't realize the power of flares or if she thinks mines are enough vision, but you got to have both. It's not one or the other. She is working towards Fountain, however. She has about 800 gold when she shopped here. And instead of just buying the Life Spring and then maybe a couple flares and a mine if she didn't have one, she decides to buy the Life Spring and then a energy battery. This is wrong. You should never be buying an energy battery on Catherine, especially this early. Maybe if you want to try something different and you get into a game where you're really steamrolling the other team, you could buy a clockwork. 
but contraption gives the same amount of cooldown reduction and it also offers you unlimited vision. She should have held this minion wave away from the turret. Instead, she decides to play around with Lance and the enemy is able to put a ton of damage on this turret. She uses her bubble too early here and it's gonna cost her her life. If she would have saved her bubble for when Gwyn's trying to take her down to nothing and she's gonna use her high damage skill shots, Catherine would have survived and this turret wouldn't have get, gotten taken down. Instead, because she doesn't realize that the bubble only affects high damage attacks and uses her bubble just whenever she thinks she's about to get attacked. It ends up costing them a turret. Here again, she's gonna have a chance to hold this minion wave. And what I mean by that is just stand in the lane and don't let the minions walk forward to the turret. Just let them shoot you, let the enemy carry you shoot you. Obviously don't take needless damage, but be there keeping the minions away from your turret. You're saving your laner CS that she can then get and you're also keeping your objectives from being in danger. And then once her laner does get there, she wanders away from ambient gold that she would get just by standing there to go stand in the jungle again. Other than the very first shot before the game started, she has not bought a single flare. And so she has to face check every one of these bushes and you see that it's already cost them a couple times and it's gonna keep costing them because she doesn't have both types of vision. She's trying to do everything with mines and it's not enough. Kind of a pointless time to pop boots here. She really wasn't in that much danger because it's 3v2, uh, but I know why she was scared. So just something to keep in mind. If you're 3v2 and you're worried about dying, save your boots until you actually take some real damage. Another problem with her not buying flares is she's unable to scout the enemy team's vision. So, Lance has a huge vision advantage throughout this game because of that. Really good baiting here by the enemy team. Uh, even if she had flares, she probably wouldn't have flared that bush there. She tried to use her silence there instead of just using fountain right when she saw the enemy team pop out of that bush. And she got stunned out of her silence and the fountain ended up being late because of it. Uh, when you're at this skill level, Earlier fountains are way better than late fountains, so as long as you get it out, just work on getting it out early before your carries die, and then slowly, over time, you realize how much damage they're about to take, and you can take longer to get fountain out until you get to the point where you're fountaining at the exact optimal time. This last time she shopped, she had 700 gold, and what she should have started working towards was Atlas because both the enemy carries have attack speed and Atlas would help out a lot. What she does buy, however, is tier two boots. How is that going to help her team against the immediate threats that are presenting themselves here? It's not. One other thing I wanna mention about when she uses her bubble. If you do it early and often, like this Catherine is, if she didn't have energy battery, she would constantly be out of energy here because your B takes a lot of energy from you and you really don't have that much. They just got a kill on Lance, so it's good by her to press this advantage and try to get down Gwen. But the moment Gwen leaves this bush and turns around, Catherine should silence right there. Instead, she saves it all the way till the end of this fight and doesn't really get anything for it. The other thing she did is when Blackfeather was chasing her down to kill her, she should have just stopped and attacked him because two things would have happened there. She would have allowed Glaive to catch up to Blackfeather and attack him, and she would have put some extra damage on Blackfeather there. And it might have actually led to her team getting an ace, but instead the other team gets an ace out of it. And it's completely Catherine's fault this happened. I don't know if you caught that, but she bought Halcyon Chargers. So she's just completely off on her own little program here. Halcyon Chargers are not the cooldown item to be buying on Catherine because eventually you're gonna want War Treads and they're definitely not the second item you're ever gonna get on Catherine. 
If you think about what she has to add to fights right here at 13 minutes into the game, it is just Fountain. Yeah, she has her abilities, but look at the items the enemy Roamer has. He has Fountain and Crucible. So not only is he more tanky because he got the extra health from Crucible, he has an extra activatable item that can help his team. What did Catherine get with Halcyon Chargers? Cooldown? That's not really doing anything for her team. Having an ability up two seconds earlier than it would have otherwise isn't going to change fights for your team. Having an Atlas here and being able to throw, slow down attack speed would be huge. That mine she just placed would be much better served putting it in that bush that they ganked them from earlier in the game. It would give vision of the same general area, but it would give vision earlier and would be less likely to be stepped on. It's kind of this player's thing to just go walking forward into the tri bush, and I've been talking about how it costs them gold. But why did she, upon seeing Gwyn by the shop, just go in and stun her? She has no vision on either of the shop bushes. And if the enemy team would have been smart, they would have completely destroyed her there because she's out there overextended on her own. A big part of that problem is she doesn't have flares, so she has no other way to enter bushes but just by face checking them. And because this Catherine wants to help me teach you guys things, she's going to go face check again. Overextended from her team, and you guys are going to see exactly what happens when you don't have flares and you go face checking into bushes. Let's think about how this game's going if you're this Catherine. Say you already bought the Halcyon Chargers. Yeah, I said it was a bad move, but whatever. Somehow you ended up with them. You made a mistake. Constantly be thinking about the game and what you need to build. It's not too late for her team to win this game. And if she would have just built towards Atlas or Crucible or pretty much any item that helps her team uh, stay alive here, she would have been much better off. Instead, she buys a Storm Guard. What is a Storm Guard banner going to do for her team at this point in the game? Nothing. I really don't know why she went back to the spawn there. She didn't really take that much damage. And she has Life Spring, so she was going to get the damage back. And it actually puts her out of position for this gank they might have been able to get on Blackfeather. She's not able to stun Blackfeather after Glaive stuns her so that they can chain their CC. And instead, they don't get anything for this, other than they just lost another turret. I know you just saw her flare there, but she didn't buy flares. She bought a flare gun. One thing I've noticed with lower tier players is they think buying flares is a waste of money if they're going to buy a contraption or a flare gun eventually anyway, because it's free flares forever. And that's fine once you get it, but until you get it, you need to have flares on you. You've seen the ramifications of not being able to flare throughout this game. I don't know how else to convince you. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but Catherine upgrades her hourglass into a chronograph here and still does not have a single item that helps her team at this point, except the fountain that she got around seven minutes. And we're 18 minutes into this game. It was a good idea of her to go jump on Blackfeather right here because they might have finished this game at this moment otherwise. Glaive spawns and hits his boots because the enemy stayed way too long. If you see that as Catherine, immediately drop your silence. She still gets out at a pretty good time here, but if she would have silenced while the enemy was still in their base, they would have gotten both these kills. She made a mistake there by not staying in front of her teammates and frontlining, and Glaive takes a stun to the face for it. Not really a big deal damage-wise, but it slows down her team just enough that they're not able to kill this Lance. She gets way too greedy here. The moment Lance Fountain, she should have turned around and got out of turret range. And she dies needlessly for it. Catherine has about 1,100 gold to shop with here. Instead of buying the items I've been mentioning, she decides to finish Contraption. I don't mind Contraption at all on Catherine. In fact, I suggest it. It's really nice to have a cooldown reduction slash energy recharge item on Catherine because she, her kit is so energy hungry. But that's not doing anything for her team in this situation. And what's really sad is at this point, the enemy Blackfeather 
has a better Rome build than our Catherine. He has Atlas and Fountain. And Catherine only has Fountain. At this point in the game, Catherine shouldn't be worried about building stacks. She should be using her stun to either help lock down a target or peel a target for her team. And that silence she just used was so obvious that the enemy Lance is able to block it. They're all focused on her. The whole enemy team is focused on her. So what you want to do more in fights is either use your silence where the enemy team can't see you or wait until there's a lot of action going on because it's much harder to block abilities as anybody, a roam or a carry, when you're not just focused on Catherine. Her glaive, who's me in this game, can't finish off Blackfeather because he's a horrible jungler. And so her and Gwyn are going to go try to track down Blackfeather. This is one of those engages where it would have been huge if Catherine had Atlas. Blackfeather wouldn't have put even half the damage he just put onto Gwyn if he had been Atlas. And although they do get this kill, Gwyn's going to die to the enemy Gwyn because of how much damage Blackfeather was able to put on her in such a short time. I don't want to go through all the hypotheticals, but if she would have had Crucible, it would have helped too. If she would have had Wartread, she could have got her and Gwyn out of that engagement after they killed Blackfeather. Any of the items I tell you guys to get would have completely changed how that went for the red team. She finishes off Stormcrown here and buys a couple oak carts. I think I've said enough about her build that you guys kind of get it now. One thing I do want to mention though, the red team has no turrets. Catherine has a contraption. If you have no turrets and the game's almost over, you need to be putting vision in the base so that you can see if the enemy team is trying to make a push for your vein. At a bare minimum, you need one at the entrance to your base. And then if the enemy team has people that can get over the wall, like they do in this case, you want one down where the enemy team has a mine so that you can see if they're trying to do something sneaky. Just to ensure that her team loses, Catherine's going to do this weird jungle rotation she does, even though she has flares at this point, and go face checking bushes. She goes down. Barely gets Fountain off before she dies herself, but her teammate was full health there. And that's going to be pretty much the whole game for her team. I spoke with the person playing Catherine after this game was over and just asked her why she built the way she did. And to her credit, her reasoning was that she wanted to build a lot of stacks on Catherine, which is good. But the amount of stacks she had doesn't justify not building the items I've been telling you guys about. And I think I made it pretty clear how if she would have had the items I was mentioning able to support her team and just had maybe even half as many stacks, her team would have been way better off. Talking about my YouTube channel really quick, I just want to let you guys know that I've got some really exciting things coming your way and I'm putting some money to invest into some better equipment so I can do more quality videos for you. Also, if you are a Twitter user, follow me at woodworkingvg. Hit the like button or don't. I don't really care. As always, I really do hope you guys learned something, and I will see you on the fold.